pages. Pages is where the magic really happens. This is where you add all the different features that you need into your app. This is where you can build your usability and uh, user interaction into your app with a variety of different features and pages. Now, if you want to go through it, if you chose a template in the beginning, you will already have pages. It says your pages. There will already be a few pages in your app as per the template. To remove pages is fairly simple. You will see that there's a little cross there at the top. You can just click it and you can remove any features that is on the app already. If you want to add features or pages to the app, all you have to do is pick from the whole list full of pages and features at the bottom. Let's have a quick look at some of them. Audio, this is to add podcasts into your app. You've got bookings, calendars, catalogs, contests, contacts, e-commerce, custom pages, which is a nice one because with custom pages, you can build your own kind of features that if, they, if it doesn't exist under the current features already. Facebook, fan walls, uh, push notifications, links, news walls, push notifications. I think one of the more amazing features that Mobymatic has that you can build into your applications is the location-based push notifications. So you could actually send push notifications to people that come within a certain radius of a specific location. So if you have a restaurant, you can set it up so that anybody that comes that has your app and comes within a one mile radius of your restaurant can get a push notification with specials or something that you have going on right at that time. You can also set your push notifications time and date based. So that's a really nice feature. But you can pretty much do anything. You've got radios, QR, Q coupons, scratch cards, menus, uh, Shopify interaction, WooCommerce interaction, WordPress interaction. You can do anything. But um, let me quickly show you how to do it. Let us pick one. Um, let's put a menu in our application. So let's go set meal. You will see it appears in your pages. That's your set meal. And then it will open the feature settings for that page or application or feature. So on, if you click on set meal, it opens all the feature settings. You can change the icon over here of all the applications or features or pages. You just pick any icon. You can upload your own icons, add new icons, should you please. Um, Let's not do that right now. You can change the icon. You can change the name of the page. I mean, the page is now called Set Meal. If you look on the right over here, you can see on our live preview, it says Set Meal. You can change that to Lunch Menu. And if you change it, you will see it immediately changes there. So let's fix that capital letter on the spot. And there we go. Lunch Menu. Now to add to this, you can just click on add and you can add whatever you want to add on there. Let's put something in uh, chicken lunch. You can put a price in there, $10. You can put a description, awesome grilled chicken breast. With salad, obviously you're going to do the description as the way you want it. You can add a picture. Your picture will be uploaded straight from your computer. And you will be able to resize it. So let's do it like that. And there's your picture of your meal. And that's that. You press OK. And there's your meal right away. Straight away you can see it there. Chicken lunch. Uh, if you click on it, there's your image. And the price. Everything you need. So there's your lunch menu. It's very easy to create. If you want to change or uh, edit any of the items, there's the little edit button, the pencil over there. 
or you can delete it if you want. You can also set the background of that. So let's just change the background to show you how it works. Uh, let's take this one. I generally prefer not to mess around with the backgrounds too much, but you being creative, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. So if you can see there, the background only shows around a little bit. Now there are places where you can actually go and set the transparency of these blocks under colors up here. Um, so you can set the transparency if you want your background to shine through more. I personally think it makes the apps a little bit too busy. So I prefer to leave the backgrounds out or well i wouldn't do the transparency but anyway so there you can set the background of your page and there's also the option of design so if you go back to here you will see that we are on the list design so an image with the text next to it we can also do a block design where it gets laid out like that or what they call a masonry design with different sizes blocks big ones and small ones going down so those are the three options that you have on how to lay out your menu and that's that that's your menu so to do a menu if you click on it right now there you go you see chicken lunch you can click on it and you see more information this is really awesome folks where you have the live view over here you have the normal iphone you have the bigger eye screens you have Android devices and you've got HTML5. So you can see live how your app will look on each of those devices as you design it. Let's just have a look at some of the other features here. Uh, images, form, folder, inbox, job, loyalty cards, QR co coupons, set meal, tips calculator. We can add a tips calculator in there. Once again, you don't need to change anything over here. That's just a simple tip calculator. Once again, you can change the icon if you want. You can change the text. Let's put a capital letter in there. Boom. And you will see immediately. Whoa. Let's put the capital letter in there. And as I update it, you see it updates there immediately. You can once again change the background if you want on the tip calculator. And once you change the background, you'll see that it shows through here. So that pretty much shows you how to add pages or features to uh, your application. It's really simple. They all work exactly the same way. You can just click on it add it to your application and then you can change the settings of that specific feature or page. Um, if you want to look for specific things quicker, you'll see that we've got them broken down there. You can just click on social. Those, there's all the social media apps or pages. There's media, images, radio, RSS feed, video, audio, contacts, bookings, contacts, forms, in-app messages, push notifications. Uh, monetization, if you want to add ways to make money to your application, customization, integration, uh, events, and then miscellaneous. So there's a whole bunch of pages and features that you can use to build really engaging apps for your customers. I'm not going to go through all of these pages or all of these features right now, but if you head on to the head on over to the training or the support areas, there will be videos and documentation that shows you how each and every one of these work and how to make use of them. And there you go, guys. That's pages or features. Enjoy building apps.